Christmas is just a special time and for me that the building the Lego whether it's just here now or on the kitchen bench or on the kitchen dresser it just um, it's just something to do. Hi everyone my name's Letitia Blake I work at Grampians Community Health I'm the program leader for the direct support program area and I've been working at Grampians Community Health for about 18 years. I've always had an interest in Lego even as a um, child and then when my two daughters were younger I used to buy Lego sets for them then we didn't have anywhere else to put it so we sort of packed it all away and did all that and then about four or five no maybe even six years ago I found out about the Lego Winter Village range and that sort of um, piqued my interest so I bought one collection that year and since then it's just sort of grown so the first lot I did was on the kitchen bench this year my husband had to put in a new PowerPoint so that I could put all the USBs um, plugged into that so that I could have lights on it which was a last minute type of thing my grandchildren absolutely love it especially the um, eldest Sienna she's been um, involved in it for the last few years and she just remembers things and says oh my have you got the train working yet and that usually starts off the uh, conversation about what I've done. I'll take photos once I start doing it and sending them down so that her mother can see it. And then this weekend, they actually came up on Saturday, so they had um, Saturday and yesterday to help me finalise it, run the train for me to make sure it wasn't going to knock all the little people off and all the buildings off and, and everything else like that. So what I've done over the last few years is i tried to incorporate something from during the year into it so for example this year I've added a hospital scene lots of COVID masks had to um, order some little tiny um, faces from England and last year because my husband and I went to Holland um, we had a lot of I did a lot of skinny little buildings um, and lots of little black bikes as well and windmills I introduced windmills last year a um, couple of years ago I did a toy run where we had the motorbikes all along the road and with Santa on a bike and that type of thing. So there was a toy run incorporated into that. So it just, it just depends on what's happened and I just try and incorporate something from the year into it. And I basically start planning. I've already got my ideas for next year. I get a piece of paper. I scribble on what I think I could do. It takes a bit of work to plan it all out. I call it my road map so that I can try and work out where the roads are going to go, where the buildings are going to go. And then I will buy, as I said, a particular um, set and I'll actually change it. But for somebody starting with Lego, try and pick a theme because it gets a little bit, um, you can get a little bit carried away. Um, it's not the cheapest of hobbies and... Um, yeah, just have a theme just and just do it for the enjoyment of it because it, it does, it takes away. You don't think about anything else while you're doing it. Just for especially this year of 2020, have a great, safe Christmas. Enjoy it and spend it with those that you love.